Me turn, 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 turn. <laughs> the one on the left is caught its horn. Don't seem bothered as bad as I used to that trap ago. Oof. Well, yeah. Oof. <laughs> Hilda, Hilda. Do Tantana over there. You can open the seat belt. That's fine. Right, and then, what are you off, buddy? When you go around again, Kelly, put your wing, wing mirrors in, okay? Why? Well, because you get a better view. And if anything does come up to the car. <laughs> See what they're doing then, because they'll be in different positions. One's lying down in the shade. So the shade will all have moved in the afternoon, won't it? Hello, mate, how are you doing? Oh! <gasps> 
going in there. I was just going to check she looks like she's going in to shed her skin. Oh, is she? Yeah, because I, I really. I can't even see it. Oh, yeah, I've I'll take a picture of everyone looking at the penguins. Oh, yay! Now they've got new predators out there, especially the young ones, the ones that are a little bit more vulnerable. So, and then our black and whites get a nice portion of fruit out of their diet in the evening, or of the evening, when they eat separately to the rest of our leaders. Now they've got a very good sense of smell, so they've got a very wet little nose, it's called the rhinarium, and this helps with detecting different scents and smells so they can figure out who's in charge, whose family members are doing now the crows up there, uh, our lovely little lady. <laughs> <laughs> we just pull you back away from her for me because she, she will fight. Yeah. Uh, and what she will come for is all the smells. Very, very good. So she's 
Bane bane. Ganga.
And now these beds will also spend a lot of time up in the tree canopy climbing around as well. So you'll notice that they have very, very good balance. And that's because all parrots have zygodactyl feet, which just means that they have two forward pointing toes and two backward pointing toes. So if they do need to get to the end of a branch or a vine to get to a nice juicy piece of fruit, then they have the ability to do that because of their specially designed feet. But if you have a look at Wilma and Yo-Yo as their branches are going to be able to support their weight, so they come up with an ingenious way of actually pulling their food towards them. Um, so parrots are quite greedy birds, we didn't actually have to train, uh, train this behaviour at all, they pretty much worked it out for themselves. Uh, as soon as we put them to a seed in the pot, they knew exactly what to do. So this is actually a natural behaviour that they would use out in the wild as well. Ah, otra, otra, otra. So the time, oh, it's 10, perhaps we'll just sort of start walking back. Yeah. But what's incredible, when they did their show, they must be so used to it. Yeah. They did, um, well, he was just, he, the, one of them was lying down and the keeper was looking at his teeth and his nose, yeah. etc. And then suddenly those two, no, those three, suddenly sloped off to the pool, had a lovely swim around, and then suddenly they came out. Nobody told them. No. The keeper didn't say a word. Yeah. No, they they didn't. probably know the amount of time to be yeah, mm. Oh, no. Why do they do it? You know, there's a cat comes with me. I've got seven cats that come and visit me. Oh, no. They've got cat cat too. Yeah. Yeah. They come and go. I feed them. And I feed the foxes. Yeah, and the, and the birds. And the birds. And yeah, exactly. And yeah, why did you fold it? Yeah. 